Hey everyone, uh, I haven't yet seen an Empire Relay install video for uh, setting up with the TM7 or TM15 so I thought I would throw one together quickly and uh, also let you know about a specific thing I missed and an issue that I had uh, installing it on my version 1 TM7. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky to do this um, but hopefully this will show you everything that you need. Um, so this is what comes with the package. You have the regulator itself, you have the adapter, then you have two small set screws and one larger set screw. Um, what you do before you even like disassemble your, your marker is install the adapter into the regulator. And it just slides all the way up till the end. Um, and then in order to get it to seal at the bottom, you'll first of all need to use a 1 8 inch hex key to screw down the copper part inside so that it fits all the way flush to the bottom. And if you look on the bottom of the adapter, you'll see at the moment it's flush, there's an o-ring there that's going to help seal uh, it with the bottom of the regulator. So slide that in and then screw this all the way down as far as possible until it locks um, and then in order to provide an extra bit of stability for that there's also the larger of the set screws which uses a 1 16th hex key and that goes in the other hole and screws all the way down until that locks into position and then the adapter won't slide off anymore and now the other two set screws go through these side holes here once you're screwed in to the air transfer tube so I will show you that next So this is the uh, internals of my TM7. Uh, as you can maybe see, I don't know if it will focus, but uh, it's uh, serial number 373, so it's like version 1. Um, got it very early on, and it's been very good for me. Um, the reason I was looking at the relay, obviously the on-off is great, um, but also have a, a crack in the gauge on mine. And also it was very um, loose. Um, so even when it was fully uh, tightened, it would just wriggle. And while it's fine in the TM, uh, TM7 shell, um, I was always a bit worried about it causing a problem. So uh, I was going to put the relay on here, and I've already mostly undone this, so I'll just show you. Um, when it came apart like this, um, I realized that the only way to take this copper part off which has to go into the relay um, was that you need a very very large hex key uh, which in this case is a nine millimeter metric um, that sits in the top and then you can take loose and, and take that off and out comes the part you need and then obviously the old regulator goes away now what I unfortunately did was damage the end here in playing around uh, so I need a replacement but just to uh, to show you with the Empire Relay this thin part goes down into there and then screws in Let's just screw all this all the way down Obviously, when it gets tight, then you get the hex key out and tighten it all the way down until it's flush to the bottom. So the O-ring that's at the bottom holds it in, and then the O-ring on the top here uh, helps it with the uh, air transfer tube. So this then screws into the TM7's air transfer tube, like so. Now, I'm going to try this on my TM15, 
instead because as I've already said I broke the copper part here so it's not going to work anyway um, but with this TM7 if I tighten it all the way up until it's tight it's actually backwards um, so I of course have to bring it back around which puts me back basically where I was in the first place with it being uh, very loose and uh, I think the only answer there is Loctite but as it happens I'm probably going to have to replace the whole air transfer tube to get that copper part so uh, hopefully that will be uh, a better solution but in the meantime I'm going to try and install this OITM15 and hopefully I'll be able to see that there's a difference and uh, and that it works better okay I'm <clears throat> very happy to report this is the internals of my TM15 uh, it's still alone number 271 but obviously they made some changes um, from the TM7 to the TM15 but uh, probably very hard to see but around the middle of the uh, screen here there are very tiny set screws that are going around uh, the outside of the plastic air transfer tube that are obviously holding the copper part uh, tight inside so basically in unscrewing the uh, stock regulator I was able to just take it straight out without having to worry about the copper part coming out and thereby using the extra large um, hex key so um, now I'm going to try and install the uh, the new relay on the bottom of that. Uh, put some air in it and make sure it works. Well, I'm very happy to report that the uh, axe went on really well. Um, had to kind of hand crank it down to get it straight at the end. Um, but it came lined up perfectly. I put the little set screws in, help hold it in place, and uh, threw a tank on it quick and held air, pressured, fired, no problems. So there you go. Um, just be aware that if you have a an early model TM7, uh, you might want to pick up a, a replacement air transfer tube, which apparently comes with the copper insert, and you can buy them from uh, Boss Paintball uh, for like 15 bucks, I think. Hope that helps someone. Thanks. Bye.